Welcome at Embedded World 2020. We are here at the Cadence booth. My name is Robert Schweiger. So this year it's all about intelligent system design. So let me show you a couple of highlights at our booth. And so we start first with this ADAS vision system. Amol, can you briefly explain what it is all about? Sure, Robert. So here we have a demonstration for on one of our customers' platform, Black Sesame. It features our Tensilica Vision P6 DSP along with Black Sesame's own AI accelerator, which they call the Ultra Deep Learning Neural Network Accelerator Engine. Both these processors or IP blocks working together give a great amount of performance and uh, lower uh, energy or power utilization, also allowing real-time AI processing on the edge. So as an example, what I can show you over here is on this pro board, processing in real time, we have detecting lane markers, we're detecting multiple vehicles on the road, we are also able to detect street signs, and as you can see over here, detecting pedestrian and people. So this is ready for integration or use in an automotive uh, application. Let me walk you to another example we have for uh, autonomous vehicles or ADAS applications. So what do we have here? So here we have an example of driver <laughs> monitoring system or DMS. This is another example on a customer platform featuring four Tensilica Vision P6 DSPs. And as part of this demonstration, we are able to detect the uh, orientation of the driver's face. So Robert, if you can look at the camera, you can see the face is being detected as well as multiple locations on the face or landmarks are being detected. And Robert, if you look slightly to the left, you can see that it indicates that driver's looking to the left and also uh, there is a po potential for distraction. So we're able to easily detect the different directions in which driver is looking in and we can alert you and let you know that driver is potentially being distracted. So the further applications from this are endless. Okay, thanks very much for the Welcome. explanation. So let me show you our next solution, which is actually a radar system. So it's an advanced millimeter wave 4D imaging radar system from our customer Vayar, based in Israel. So we have here this radar sensor mounted, and um, the radar sensor is a high resolution sensor with 42 transceivers which is perfectly suited to do an in-cabin monitoring in a car. So you can basically detect, do an occupancy detection, you can detect or monitor the driver and the breathing of a driver, you can also detect pedestrians. So how does the system work? So basically the radar sensor is detecting me in front of the sensor and that is this point cloud. So if I move closer to the sensor, you can see the point cloud is getting closer. If I move away, point cloud is moving in the other direction. The software is um, basically detecting the object and it's a pedestrian. And on the right hand side of the screen, we have a pedestrian tracker. So now you see instead of the heat map, only the pedestrians moving towards the radar sensor or moving away. Let's go to the other side and show you another system which is actually for system analysis. So Sershan, can you briefly explain what we've got here? So, hi Robert, so I'm showing here so two tools, so it's a Cadence a brand new, very exciting technology, so Clarity and Celsius. So here you can see uh, Celsius uh, thermal uh, simulation, uh, basically there is a mechanical window, I can import this flex rigid design. Uh, in our Allegro PCB designer we can even determine how flex folding is done and then I can save it as a step file, I can import step file, intelligize it a bit, add materials which are described as electrical and thermal properties inside, and then I can do static analysis, I can do um, uh, transient thermal in this tool, and in addition, uh, there is also a CFD block that I can do a fluid flow analysis, so it's convection, conduction, radiation, heat um, uh, uh, transfer coefficient in the, in the system analysis. So there is also the other tool that I'm showing today, it's uh, 
clarity tool, uh, which is also having capability, a mechanical window to merge PCB design and uh, a step file mechanical drawing of the connector, and then to extract S parameters and look at the magnetic and electric field of the connector, which is joined and merged to the PCB planes. And we can import uh, basically not just uh, Allegro PCB design, or PC, uh, PCB layouts, we can also import the other um, layouts done in other tools. We just need ODB++ database for that. So is that a finite element solver and is yes. that very that, compute that, intensive? Exactly. So with both tools we use a, a brand new massive parallelization algorithm and that's a key message. So we are very fast now. We can distribute the job uh, already at the mesh generation level. So we can distribute to the unlimited number of machines and those machines uh, we can really optimize the cost. It's a cloud ready so we can go over the cloud and say okay uh, if I invest for so much core it will take let's say so much time, if I um, have a more course, it can uh, linearly uh, be scaled, it will um, reduce simulation time significantly. In some cases, we have seen 10 times uh, increase in the speed of the calculation time. Thanks, Sergeon. So let's have a look at one of our infotainment solutions. This is Robert from our partner Alango, and he will explain us a little bit more about our voice enhancement package. So thanks a lot. Alango Voice Enhancement Package, or VEP, is a package made specifically for human-to-machine communication. So enhancing the response of the automatic speech recognition or keyword recognizer. So it's improving the performance of these devices that we use for uh, voice control and smart speakers, etc. Specifically what we do and what we're showing here today is our beam forming. This, is, this device is using three microphones, but we can use four, five, six, or more. We're showing the beam forming and noise suppression, uh, acoustic echo cancellation, and other technologies that are really uh, important for enhancing speech for human-to-machine communication. Um, in addition to that, we enhance speech for human-to-human -human communication in accessories like Bluetooth headset, as well as uh, Bluetooth hands-free in automotive. Okay, so understood. Thanks for your explanation. Thank so you. So let's walk around the booth to another infotainment demo, which is actually, uh, it's all about voice control now. So this is Chris of Babel Labs, one of our Tensilica Hi-Fi partner. Chris, can you explain us about your voice control system? Sure, Robert. Babel Labs is a specialty deep learning speech processing software company, and we're showing off the Babel Labs Clear Command system running on Tensilica Hi-Fi 4. What we do is build optimized neural networks around a command set and run it at high accuracy, even under very noisy conditions. So we can show it here running on the Hi-Fi processor core at very low megahertz for very low power, and we're showing it interactively where we can just say, hello, Gabby, command one. Command one complete. And we get instant response. So this is allowing people in industrial controls, in automotive, in home appliances to have a completely private, low cost, low latency, convenient speech recognition interface for any kind of application they need. Pretty cool. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. So let's go to the next demo. So here we have actually an AI-based pedestrian detection. So there's a camera mounted on this car and the camera is basically streaming a video into a hardware platform and on the Tensilica Hi-Fi Vision P6 there's an AI-based algorithm running, YOLO, you only look once, which is doing the pedestrian detection. The key thing is it's a, a low-power, high-performance DSP that can do all the processing. And so as you can see here on the screen, it detects the people putting a bounding box around it and tracks afterwards the people. So thanks for coming to our booth at Embedded World 2020. If you need more information on these demos, 
please go to cadence.com. See you next year.